I just found a f***ing heroin needle. Welcome back to another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna go magnet fishing. Lake Michigan is literally four steps away from where I'm sitting right now. The big chunky magnet here. So apparently this thing can pull 150 pounds. I think it's doing a thug shape. This is the best knot. I mean, this is pretty solid. I'm, I'm not thinking this is gonna come out of here. Because again, it's like, again, it's pulling down, so we should be fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on this handle here so that I can have this retrieving end on my side. We might find something super valuable or we might just find garbage. But either way, I'll bring a garbage bag with me and we can clean up the ocean. You're ready. Oh, she's a jolly good sailor. Drop a like right now if you guys are going to enjoy this video, if you guys think it's gonna be crazy, and also predict in the comments what you guys think we're about to grab. Okay, we're at our first location. I don't think I'm gonna get anything from here. The water's a bit shallow here and also, it just doesn't appear to be much, but who knows? There might be something. Let's just say a fisherman with my kind of skill knows when he sees potential. And let's just say this potential was off the chart. I mean, so far off, I couldn't even find anything, so I left. Yeah, we're gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Did not realize being a full-time magnet fisher would be this hard, but we're gonna go find somewhere else because that one did not work out. We'll see how it goes. If I can, if I don't find anything, then I don't even know. Okay, so we're at our second location right now. We're gonna do another round of magnet fishing. Again, I don't think I'm gonna get anything from here simply because of the depth. So we might have to try somewhere else, but we'll see. If pulling in pounds of mud and seaweed is something you guys wanna do with your free time, I would say magnet fishing is totally the right thing to choose. I mean, honestly, look at this clip, me pulling all that in. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was just all seaweed, guys. I don't, I don't know, I had to find something else. Where do I go magnet fishing at? If it's not a pond and it's not Lake Michigan, I don't know where to go. I digress. We'll find somewhere different. Now, I'm not from around this area, but I just found this bridge, which is over this channel that goes all the way down to Lake Michigan. So we almost could get the direct feed of Lake Michigan's potential goods, but in sort of a slower pace, the more chill area. So I'm gonna try dropping here. This is obviously a little bit different because I'm just going straight down over the edge. I'm just gonna drag it along. And by different, I really mean I thought that just dragging it across there would make this a lot more efficient, but it didn't end up working out. It's not gonna be a whole lot the same. Okay, so I'm walking down the road just trying to get out. I don't know what the f to do. I guess I just walk forward then. Nope. So, I don't know where I'm at. I don't live in Wisconsin. I don't really know Wisconsin. I'm just here vacationing for a little bit. And obviously you guys know I was just back at the bridge over there. And now I'm all of a sudden at the end credits of Truman Show. Where am I? Also, I don't know if I'm supposed to be over here. There wasn't like a no trespassing thing, but there was like a USA property line thing. I'm so confused. But hey, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go magnet fishing. There's something metal right there in the water. Oh my God, we're gonna get it, we're gonna grab it. With my luck, it actually turned out just to be some aluminum. I think it was a, like a soda can or something. So it ended up not, you know, sticking to the magnet, which means that I kind of just decided that again, I would just have to walk down the coast a little bit more and see if I see anything cool, but I'll keep you guys updated. I don't know how to describe how serene and like how, how unreal it feels to be in front of infinite nothing. I'm excited to be out here, but I'm gonna go pick up some trash. Okay, fine. I know you guys clicked on this video to watch magnet fishing, but I swear to God, if I did not start picking up trash, I would not have found this next object. And I was so, so surprised. You guys can see me walking over there, picking up stuff. I see it right there. Turn around. I bolt on over. My legs are shimmy shamming, And here I am. I just found a f***ing heroin needle. There is a god heroin needle. Where the f*** is it? Oh my god. That, it's literally, I thought it was just a syringe. No, it, that's literally a heroin needle. I don't know, I'm not gonna pick that up. So I walked around, I picked up garbage on the left side first. Went, I went all the way down to that rock formation, I actually walked on the rocks there. And it was actually really nice. It was really pleasant. And this is actually a good time to remind you guys that if you guys subscribe to this YouTube channel, I've been writing all of our subs names from 2023 on this wall. So make sure you guys sub up, leave a comment down below that you guys did subscribe. If, if this is your first experience with the channel, just let me know and say uh, that you subbed and I'll put your name on the wall. Time to put the trash. 
where the trash goes. And again, I only did a small thing today, guys. Um, if you guys want to, I mean, feel free to always tag me in videos of you guys cleaning up stuff. I really love that. And I'd love to use my platform as a support piece for something like that because it's just great. And I think it's a great opportunity to get to get out, hang out outside, get some oxygen in your lungs, but also do something good for nature, right? So, yeah, dig. I don't think I'm gonna be catching anything with this magnet, I'll be honest. My magnet fishing career is over. And I can't seem to make her leave. She wants time with me, trust me. Yeah. And I've been living life slowly. Feel like my life buffering. Yeah, yeah. And all my boys are buying cars now. Cause we all on the LA lifestyle. Yeah. She said I should turn the lights down. And I just got my new friends now. For now.